All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to link Google Analytics 4 in Google BigQuery. All right, so this is what uh, the uh, data set of the tables are going to look like. So when you link GA4 in uh, Google BigQuery, you are going to have two different uh, tables that are linked to two different types of uh, records or transactions. One is going to be the events table, and the other one I haven't really looked at yet. But the other one is since uh, different types of events. All right, so anyway, uh, let's learn how to uh, set this up first. All right, so I want to first of all uh, navigate to console.cloud.google.com. And make sure that you have a project that uh, is dedicated to uh, your big Google query uh, project. So I'm going to assume that you already uh, have a project set up that tied to your uh, BigQuery platform. All right, so select the project. We want to first of all enable the Google BigQuery API by going to the navigation menu, APIs and services, then click on library. In the search field, search for Google BigQuery. It should be the first item on the list. Now click on BigQuery API. And make sure that the BigQuery API service is enabled. So what done with step one? For step two, we want to uh, navigate to our Google Analytics 4 account or property. From the Google Analytics 4 uh, homepage, we want to click on admin on the bottom left. Now on the admin page, we want to go to account access management, then scroll down to uh, BigQuery links and click on BigQuery links. All right, so here we want to click on link to uh, select the project. So for uh, step one, we want to choose the uh, BigQuery project. My BigQuery project is assigned to uh, Google API Tutorials project. So I'm going to select this project. Then click on confirm. All right, so here's going to automatically set the uh, data location for you. Then click on next. So by default, we can only export up to 1 million transactions per day. And if you exceed that limit, uh, you can reach out to uh, Google Cloud support to increase the limit. But I think this is a fit involved. And here we have the option to configure uh, what type of data that we need to uh, export. So on the configure data streams and events page, we can uh, set our criteria to exclude the event that we don't want to import. All right, so for now, I'm going to uh, set everything as default. We also have the option to set the frequency to uh, daily or streaming. So streaming means that we want to uh, import the events. Whenever a new event occurs, first uh, daily, you basically just import the uh, tables uh, once per day. And I'm going to set this to uh, daily for now. Then click on next. And once you finish the setup, uh, make sure that the configuration settings are all correct. Then you can click on submit to uh, link the uh, GA4 data source in your Google BigQuery project. And it's going to take up to uh, 24 hours for the transactions to uh, import it to your Google BigQuery project. So you might have to wait a day or two until you see something that appears uh, in your Google BigQuery console. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video is full. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.